Okay, what we're going to take a look at now is implementing the logic in our token handler. Now we do need a helper package for this. So what we need to do is we need to open up the NuGet gallery once again. So Command Shift and P and open up the NuGet gallery. And what we're looking for in this case is system dot identity model dot tokens dot JWT. And this includes the types that provide support for creating, serializing, and validating JSON web tokens. So we'll tick the box for API project and click install. And once that's installed, then let's go ahead and make use of it. So we need to go to our token service and we need a constructor inside here because we're going to inject our configuration into this class. So what we'll do is we'll generate the constructor and we can get our configuration from the iConfiguration interface. So we'll say iConfiguration config. And we'll go ahead and bring this in saying using Microsoft extensions configuration. And then we'll just, in fact, we won't initialize the field from parameter in this occasion. What we will do though, is we'll create a private read only field and we're going to bring in symmetric security key and call it underscore key and we'll need to bring in from Microsoft identity model tokens so that we've got access to the symmetric security key and symmetric encryption by the way is a type of encryption where only one key is used to both encrypt and decrypt electronic information. So the same key is used to both sign our JWT token and make sure the signature is verified. The other type of course is asymmetric encryption where a pair of keys, one public, one private, is used to encrypt and decrypt messages. And that's how HTTPS and SSL works asymmetrically, whereas this JSON web token is gonna to use a symmetric key because this key doesn't need to leave the server. It can remain on the server and doesn't need to go anywhere. And then what we can do is inside the constructor here, we can say that our key is equal to a new symmetric security key. And our symmetric security key takes a byte array of the key. So that means we need to encode something again because we'll create a key as a string, but then we'll just encode it into a byte array. Same as we've been doing before with our password hashes and we'll say encoding and UTF-8 and then we'll say get bytes and we'll pass in our config and we'll access a property in there that we haven't actually created yet called token key. And then we can start implementing the actual logic of what we need to do inside here to actually create the token. So what we'll do first of all is we'll start off with identifying what claims we're going to put inside this token. So we'll say var claims equals a new list of claim. And we'll need to bring stuff in again. We'll need the system collections generic and we'll also need system security claims. And what we'll add inside here is a new claim. And then we can say JWT registered claim names. And we'll need to bring this in from system identity model tokens, JWT. And what we'll use for the username, this is gonna be our name identifier for just about everything. So we're gonna use the name ID to store the user.username. And this is gonna be the only claim that we add for now. We're gonna do everything using the username that we store inside our JWT. Then we're gonna create some credentials. So we we'll say var creds equals new signing credentials. And we'll pass in the key because this takes a security key and an algorithm. So the first parameter is our key and that's our symmetric security key. And then we can specify security algorithms and we'll just pick the, the strongest that's available, HMAC SHA-512 signature to sign our token. Then we need to describe our token. So we'll say our token descriptor equals a new security token descriptor. 
and inside here we specify what goes inside our token. So first of all we need the subject and this is going to contain our claims identity and we'll pass in the claims. We'll need to give it an expiry how long is this token going to be valid for and we'll set this to date time and we'll need to bring in date time from system and say dot now and then we're going to say add days and because we're developing the application we're not really worrying about security right now we're just going to say seven days and we also need to pass in the signing credentials into this and we'll specify creds and that's our token we now need to create a token handler so we'll say var token handler equals do jwt security token handler then we could say var token equals token handler dot create token and we can pass in our token descriptor and then finally we can return our token handler and we can write the token and say token so a bit of code to create one of these things but what we're doing here effectively is adding our claims creating some credentials describing how our token is going to look then we need this token handler just something we need to create and then we can go ahead and create the token and then return the written token to whoever needs it so now we have our service in place what we're going to take a look at next is actually returning the token to our users when they log in